Hello, this is Dan. I just wanted to go over the top four safety features that we have added to our Can-Am here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with the first one that I think is the biggest one, and that is the fire extinguisher. Previous videos, we did have an incident where someone's machine caught on fire for reasons unknown. Uh, it's pretty easy. You're just gonna pull out that pin, and then you can lift up, and the fire extinguisher comes off, and you're free to use it however you need. Uh, we always go over how to use it with our passengers because you never know if the situation arises. You want them to be able to properly use it if you're incapacitated or you can't get out of your seat. Uh, it's just a good thing for everyone to know how to use it. So after that, uh, the fire extinguisher, the next top safety feature for me is going to be the uh, harnesses. These harnesses are very uh, secure. You get in and try to do this one hand. I always laughed when people said it was hard but it actually is pretty hard to do things one-handed in this in these videos uh, so you're just going to take this little loop here it gets fed through there and then you latch it down you hear a click and you're good to go uh, pretty easy I like that it has the right tab so you know uh, to grip that open if you are stuck or you need to get out real quick uh, but I'll show you how secure you are and just so once you're in these harnesses You can't really move around. I mean you can make it a little looser if you want to but I guess that kind of defeats the point uh, As you can see you can get my kind of point of view here. I even have trouble Reaching into these compartments up here. So maybe I do have a little tight uh, Forget about reaching anything over here That's in there because that goes pretty deep all the way down into there even the passenger struggles but we found that these are actually, these little door panels over here are pretty useful when you have your harness on. You could put your phone in here. Uh, we ride a lot down in Wayne Forest, so you get a paper map. Uh, we put our paper maps in there. Uh, pretty nice, useful feature. It uh, definitely keeps you safe. You do not feel like you're going to move around at all. Uh, and if something were to happen, I fully believe this harness is going to keep you in your seat. Uh, you're not going anywhere. My third uh, top safety feature is the lighted whips or flag holders. Uh, you would think, oh, how's that going to make it safe? Visibility. Uh, when you're going through the forest on a two-way trail and you're going around blind corners, you can catch these whips pretty easily. Uh, they are super bright, obnoxiously bright, honestly. At nighttime, you could just ride with these on. You don't even need headlights. They uh, light up a huge radius around you. They have like 400, 650 combinations. I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, these are the Tusk brand, straight from Rocky Mountain. I've had more than one occasion where someone's come around and said, we only saw you or knew you were there because of the whips and that we stuck out like a sore thumb. We usually run them on rainbow pattern or something very uh, bright and obnoxious. That way they have maximum visibility. Uh, that way, just so you never know, someone could come around and turn doing 30, 40 miles an hour, and if they didn't see you, then that's gonna be an accident. Uh, speaking of accidents, that brings me to our last uh, top safety modification. It's not really exclusive to side-by-sides, but uh, I think everyone should have a first aid kit in their side-by-side, -side, uh, especially since you have the storage for one, whether it's your trunk or a Husky box, or uh, even if you wanna throw it up in your glove box. Uh, but this one, uh, it's just what we found and what we bought. It comes pretty much everything you would ever need. It's got tourniquets, it's got splints, band-aids, quick, uh, quick clots. If you need it and it doesn't have it in here, then it probably uh, doesn't exist. This thing, these, these my medic bags come uh, pretty well equipped. And they have different price ranges and different levels. You can get basic ones that just have band-aids and your basic first aid kits, or you can get more advanced ones like this one where you have uh, your tourniquets and your more advanced medical equipment, so that way you never know what could happen out there. All right, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments or anything you want to talk about on the modifications that we've done to our trail, but uh, thanks for watching.